Hey friends, it's Phil over here at Transfer Superstars. I'm one of the heat transfer specialists here. I get asked a lot about what finishing paper to use on your transfers. So we're gonna be explaining the five transfer papers that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna show you guys the results of each one. And we're gonna be talking about which one works for you. We're collaborating with Bella Canvas. This is the 3413. This is their tri-blend that we're gonna be pressing our samples on. Five different shirts for five different transfer papers. And we're gonna see which one works best for you guys. So we went ahead and printed all these designs here. We went ahead and, and labeled everything so we know exactly which finishing paper we're gonna be using. Uh, we're starting off with parchment, then craft, Teflon, silicone, and transfer paper. So parchment paper is the most common finishing paper used. It's pretty much your average cookie paper that you can get from the supermarket. We got ours from Costco as a three pack. Craft paper, we got this from Amazon. You can actually even use a paper bag. Um, I've seen customers use this all the time if you're looking to get more of a matted, uh, dull look. If you're not looking for something shiny, this is perfect. Since this is a lips design, I think this is gonna turn out the best. It's actually a Teflon sheet. This is heat resistance, and this actually creates a shiny look. So this is gonna be perfect for that design. This is gonna be a silicone sheet. It's a finisher. What this does is it creates a textured finish. It's almost like a rubbery feeling to it. And transfer paper, it's pretty much our, our go-to. It's the fastest paper we use for production. We pretty much heat press. We'll flip this around. We'll use the same paper and finish it off that way. And it's pretty much a neutral finish. So we recommend for, for quick production and to save on any other papers, just go ahead and use the transfer paper. We can go in depth, take a look at each finish and you can see for yourself which one you like the best. Alright guys, so this one was done on the parchment paper. This is the most standard in the industry to use. Um, I would say the colors are very, very bold. Um, the finishing came out very nice. I would say if you're, you're looking for somewhere in between a matted and a shiny look, definitely the parchment paper is going to accomplish that for you. All right, so the next one is gonna be the craft. As you can see with the parchment paper, the colors are not as vibrant. It's a little bit more dull, but the white is still very white. Um, I would say a lot of urban brands that are looking for something that's not shiny, craft paper is the way to go. Now the Teflon paper, this creates a very, very shiny look to it. It glistens and uh, if, you know, if you're looking, you have a design like a lip design or you have a glitter effect, um, this is, the Teflon paper is the way to go because it's going to help enhance those colors, make that vibrancy a little bit more vibrant and the color is a little bit more true. We're gonna talk about the silicone paper here. So this is a silicone sheet that you get from stalls. 
I'll drop a link below. We use this as a finisher. It's supposed to create a screen print effect. Now compared to the Teflon and the others, this has slightly more of a textured feeling to it. Um, I would say the only thing I could improve differently this next time around is I would turn on the pressure some more so that it would ingrain some of this texture on there. And that would give it a, a more of a, a, a textured feel to it. So. Now the transfer paper, this is just basically using the transfer paper, transfer, and then flipping it around using the same sheet. I feel like this and the parchment paper is very, very comparable. Um, this is actually the fastest way to do it because you're not having to rip off different parchment papers. Uh, the parchment paper, after three or four uses, it does fold and crease and you're gonna have to replace that. So using the transfer paper, it saves waste and it gets just as vibrant as colors as you need. And I would say it's very, again, very, very comparable with the parchment paper. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and following along while we conducted these tests. I personally haven't heat pressed five different shirts on, on five different uh, transfer papers, so it's really interesting for me to see it myself. I've done it once here and there to see the finishes, but it's always nice to see everything up front visually. Now these are great papers. They're all very cheap to get, um, except this Stahl's paper. This one was like $40, but everything else was easily obtainable from the supermarket, grocery stores, even at home. I'm sure you have some of these things laying around. For me personally, if I was to recommend what paper to use, I would save the money and I would just use the transfer paper. This is again, the film, just, we're just flipping this up, upside down and we're using the same paper there. So again, we can help with any of your transfer needs. Make sure you visit our website, transfersuperstars.com. Place your orders. We'll get the orders out in two to three days. And thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Thanks for following along.